Hey everyone, Happy New Year. This is Mike Ferris and I am back with a brand new piece here. And on an 11 by 14 inch hardboard canvas, I'm gonna be getting started with the background already painted with black gesso and dried completely. And I have my image traced out with wax transfer paper. And this is based on the traceable image I can get down below. And to get started, I'm gonna use my palette knife to mix some general colors for the background here. And so on my palette, I'm gonna be starting off with permanent black. And this is Burnt Umber, Cadmium Yellow, Cadmium Red, Thalo Blue, Thalo Green, Cad Orange, this is Violet, Light Magenta, and of course Titanium White as always. So to get started, I'm going to take just a little bit of yellow, and I'm just going to pre-make some colors to set aside for now. And to that, I'm going to take some Burnt Umber into that, and I'll just mix those up and get those involved. That just dulls down the yellow just a little bit. And now I want just a little bit of an orange hue to that. So just a teeny bit of orange. That orange will really take over if I put too much. Okay, now just some titanium white. And it's going to make pretty much this light sort of muted orange color here. Okay, now just taking some light magenta. And to that I want to add just a little bit of cad red to it. That just dulls it down just a bit. And now I want to make it more to a lavender side. So I'm going to take just a little bit of violet into that. And I'll bring it up just a little bit with some titanium white. And just something about this tone. And you really can make these tones anything you really want. This is just background and any colors you want to use is fine. So now I'm just going to take some violet and just a teeny touch of black. That just dulls this just a little bit. And just a little bit of white into this to bring it up. And something like... A very nice pastel, sort of periwinkle lavender color, if you will. And now with a clean knife, just a little bit of cad yellow. And just a bit of cad orange. This is going to be similar to the first light orange that I made, but it's going to be just a little bit more saturated. So now I'm going to dull it down just a bit with some of this burnt umber. And now just some titanium white to that. And this is just a little bit unsaturated with too much white there. So I'm going to add a little bit of cad orange and cad yellow back into it. And this just brightens it up and makes it more saturated this way. And as you can see, it's a little bit different than that first orange. So something like that for now. So I have my number four natural round bristle brush. And with that, I'm going to make circular motions like this to make these bokeh lights in the background. And as you'll find by turning the brush, it really makes very nice circular, uh, perfect circles. And you really don't have to worry about trying to fix too many of them. And it's a very easy method and very effective way for these solid light boga lights in the background. So I'm going to take now, and as you can see, it makes a very nice circle like this. And I can even fill it in a little bit or leave some of it open to give it sort of a transparency look. Okay, and again, just turning the bristles and doing something like this. Okay, now going into some phthalo blue and just going to bring it up a little with some titanium white. And... I'm going to go ahead and apply this in some areas. Maybe it's going off the canvas like so. And just pretty much wherever you want to put these. Okay, now I have my number four flat nylon brush. The bristles are a lot softer than the natural bristle brushes. So when I turn it, it's going to be a lot smoother and easier to control this way. So with that, I'm just going to take the same value of that phthalo blue and white. And as you can see, when I turn that, it's just so much cleaner. And like I said, so much easier to control with it versus the natural round bristles. So just here and there, and like I said, wherever you want to put these and any values you want to use.
Okay, now with a clean brush, I'm going to go into some phthalo green. And to that, I'm going to add just a little bit of this cad yellow into it. That makes the green more vibrant this way. And to that, I want to dull that back from there with a little bit of burnt umber into that. And now a good scoop of titanium white. And I'm going to have this nice, vibrant turquoise phthalo green-like value. And this looks really cool with that blue in there. Okay, going back into some more yellow value there as you can see yellow is your most transparent color and especially on a black background it takes a few coats or at least two coats to really fill that in and make it pop out of there Okay, after some values there, I'm going to take now some more titanium white into that turquoisey color that I made. And very, very bright. I want to do something that's going to really fuzz out some of these lights and make this bokeh out of focus a little bit more dramatic. So in the center where I want the white the brightest and the heaviest, I'm going to start in there. And then just very lightly, I want to drag it out to the outsides into that turquoise color. And as you can see, it sort of fuzzes over and blends over it really well this way. So just a little bit of paint on the brush at a time, like probably less than what you think you're going to need is usually the amount that is right. So as you can see, I'm just fuzzing this out and see how that just takes that out of focus to another level this way. It really gives it shine and glow and makes it look more out of focus in this way. So again, just in the middle where I want it the heaviest and then just going to drag it out and just sort of tap it and feather it out just like this. Okay, with a clean brush, I'm going to take just a little bit of burnt umber and more yellow than the burnt umber. And so that just dulls the yellow down a little bit. And to that, I want to add just a little bit of this cad orange into it. Seeing that adds some glow to it. And so with this, I'm going to go in and just a teeny bit of paint on the brush. So as you can see, they're kind of faded and they have sort of a transparency look to them. So these are some really faded lights in the background that I'll work with here in just a moment. So just in a few places, just going to put those in. So now just a teeny bit of permanent black onto my brush here. And just barely any paint as you can see I'm just going over some of those faded orange ones that I did and just like that it adds a little bit more of a transparency look to it that way okay so now I'm going to take those same colors of burnt umber and some cad yellow again and to that a good scoop of white so I want this very light cream color in a way 
a little bit more yellow and brown mixture to that and just a teeny bit of paint on the brush and right in the middle where I want it the heaviest. And then again, I'm gonna dust it out to that faded orange stuff. And I'm gonna work with these to build sort of a yellowish kind of orangey glow that's gonna happen around this bright white here that I'm putting down. And this is gonna really build these up and make them pop and shine with a lot more out of focus and also a brighter look to them. Okay, now with a clean brush, I'm gonna take some burnt umber and yellow again, and this time add some more orange into that. So I have this dulled down orangey, sort of yellowish color here, and just a teeny bit of paint again on the brush, and I'm just gonna apply this kind of over these whites that I did, and work these lights and these glow tones back and forth and really build this up. Okay, no cleaning necessary. I'm gonna go back into that very light cream color that I made earlier there. And where I want it the heaviest, of course, and dusting that out into that faded orange stuff. Okay, now with my natural number four round bristle brush and taking some cad yellow with some titanium white and just a touch of burnt umber, I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up and I'm gonna tap most of that paint off of this brush, just very little. And I wanna use the natural bristle brushes to go around this white that I did here. And this is gonna build up a nice glow around these lights. Okay, after some buildup of tones and layers, now I'm gonna take some titanium white with my natural round bristle brush. And as you can see in the very center first, and then just gonna drag it out and look at how much brighter and how that just pops with that glow from all that extra buildup. And putting down values and tones like this is really the way to make something shine and pop that much more. Okay, now I have my palette knife here and I'm gonna use it in a very unique way to make the fireworks. So I'm gonna go into this magenta color value that I had made before and load just the edge of the knife here. And so all the paint that I can get on the very edge like so. And now I'm just gonna place the edge on the canvas and rotate it this way and that way. And I like how it breaks up the lines and to me it makes it look more realistic with fireworks and the way that they explode. And you can totally do this with a script liner or say an angle brush or the edge of a flat brush if you wanna make small lines like this, but I just kinda of thought this was a unique way. And of course, if there's something you don't like, you can always take black and cover anything you don't like and let it dry within a few minutes and come back and try again on something new 
or a different approach. So just go for it, have fun, and don't hold back. Now I'm going to take some cad red here with my natural round bristle brush again and just a little bit of this light magenta with some titanium white and to that a little bit more red. I want to make this glow color here so just a teeny bit of paint on the brush and I'm just going to glaze over some of this firework area that I did and show this glow happening in the background. Okay, now go into my script liner brush, lots of water on a script liner, and some titanium white with some cad red into it. I want this very light red, so as I turn it and pull it through, it's gonna bring it to a nice tip. And with that very tip, I'm just gonna streak in some very direct highlights through this firework area just here and there, but not everywhere.
Okay, after some white there and brightening up the fireworks, now I'm going to take with my palette knife some cad yellow. And I'm just going to pre-make a value here and just a teeny bit of burnt umber to dull that down. And so to that now, quite a bit of titanium white. I want this very, very light cream color again. So just going to go with this value now to start off with. And so now I have my half inch angle brush here and it's got that nice tip so that I can make very precise lines. And with the very edge of it and that light cream color, I'm going to start on the edge of the glass here and just start with the rim and also drag down the same value for a highlight on the left as well. So as you can see, I'm following the edge of the glass or the curvature of it, which is very important. So if for any reason your angle is off or maybe there's too much white, again, just take black and cover anything you don't like and you can use it to shape something a certain way or correct an angle or whatever you need to do with it. Okay, without cleaning, I'm going to take just a little bit of this yellow now and just a teeny bit of black into it, just a teeny bit like a pin drop and just a little bit more white to that. So I wanted to adjust the value just a little bit and brighten it up just a hair. So a little bit more white into that. And again, with my half inch angle brush, I can go in here with that very nice tip and that fine edge and look at how crisp those lines are and how I can just keep that all intact very well with this brush. So just gonna adjust that and then just strike a couple highlights as well on the edge of the glass. Okay, after a fancy shape like that, I'm gonna go ahead with some permanent black now without cleaning and just a teeny bit of it into that light value. So I have this gray value. And I know this seems kind of like a mundane little detail, but these little things I'm gonna be putting in with these little value changes like this, it's really going to build up the glass and give it that reflective shine and really ramp up the elegance of these beauties. Okay, no cleaning. I'm gonna take some burnt umber now, just a little bit of cad yellow. And this time I'm using the yellow to warm up the brown this time and just a little bit of white to dull it down and desaturate it a bit. Okay, and again with my half inch angle brush, I'm going to go down the side of the glass and put this value in. And this is going to really start to build up a contrast between lights and shadows and just some reflective stuff that is going to give these a 3D as well as transparent shiny look to them. Okay, no cleaning. I'm taking some burnt umber now and some titanium white to that. No yellow this time. And this is going to be a value change. And again, with the edge of the angle brush, I almost said flat brush, angle brush. <laughs> I'm going to take and streak in a little deal like this. And again, this is building up shine and all of the reflective things and the elegance of these glasses this way. Now I have my number two flat brush here and it's gonna help me to control the width of my reflections on the glass. So I'm gonna take some titanium white now and I'm gonna go into a little bit of phthalo blue. And to that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of this burnt umber to it. So it's kind of sort of this Payne's gray, very muted Payne's gray value here. And I'm gonna go on the very top of here and I'm just going to drag that down about the width of the number two flat brush and I'll just fill it in just like so.
Okay, now I'm going to go into some cad orange here and just a little bit of burnt umber to dull that down just a bit. And now titanium white to bring that up. Okay, a little bit more orange into that. And actually a little bit more of this burnt umber into it. Okay, and with a teeny bit of paint on the brush, I just want to glaze over the glass and show this kind of light that's zinging through and reflecting off of it and also enhances the transparency as well. Okay, with just a little bit of light orange value now at the very corner of the two inch, or I'm sorry, number two flat brush, I'm just gonna put a few things in there that just sort of show some glass maybe texture or like some of the drink that splashed up on it okay just a teeny bit of permanent black i'm just going to glaze over and that just sort of knocks it down and settles that orange in a little bit better and see as by doing this it makes it look more transparent this way and more realistic okay so now with the palette knife and some cad yellow i'm going to take and again with some yellow and some burnt umber mixed in with it and now of course some titanium white I'm just gonna mix up this value again and just gonna place that just kind of off to the side. And these are just gonna be some yellow tones that I'm gonna use to build more elegance in the glass and some more shine and reflective things. So again, some more yellow and some burnt umber again into that. Okay, into that, again, more titanium white. So just want to mix that up, make sure I pick it up and smash it down again and again, as you see there. And that really helps to eliminate any pockets of color that didn't get mixed and then be a value that you don't want on your canvas. Okay. A little bit more yellow into that and I'll set that next to that. And as you can see the different values here, one has more yellow and brown and the other one has less and more white in it. So I'm just going to take the values now and I'm going to start making these random little shapes. Like I said, it's going to add more elegance and shine and it's really gonna show more reflective qualities this way. Okay, now I'm gonna change the value again. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this burnt umber into it so that I can bring back this sort of brownish, sort of creamy color to it and desaturate it down with some titanium white and just fill some stuff in with this down here. So as you can see, not covering up every value in there, but letting the other ones play along and these little details, as you can see it coming together, it's really starting to take off. And now we can start to see a very shiny, vibrant glass. Okay, just taking a little bit of that orangey and yellow mixture there and just gonna place it just a little bit on those values that I put down. And that's just to glow it up just a little bit more. You know, just taking titanium white and I didn't clean my brush. So there is a tiny bit of that yellow and orangey mixture, but of course not covering up over everything and just really making that shine and pop a little bit more. Okay, now I'm just gonna take some cad orange into this cad yellow a little bit and a little burnt umber just to dull it down just a bit. And now I'm just taking some titanium white to that. Okay, something about like this and with the edge of my number two flat brush and I'm just gonna go and make the drink line with this.
Okay, going into some phthalo blue now and some phthalo green. And just a little titanium white to bring it up a bit. And with the edge of my number two flat brush, I'm just going to go and start streaking these really colorful lines down. And again, if your angle's wrong or there's too much blue, just take black, knock it back, fix the angle, thin the color line, whatever you need to do. So as you can see, just matching the colors in the background and just randomly placing them wherever. And again, you could put these lines wherever you'd like. And if you would chosen different colors, of course, I would go with values that match the colors that you chose. And totally, again, just go for it and fix anything that you need to and don't worry about a thing. Okay, going into some cad red now. And again, I have to go back over to make that show up because as you know with red and colors like yellow it takes a couple of coats or more to get those to really show up against a black background so any colors that you find not coming through all the way it's all good just more layers and that will totally get more vibrant and show up better each time okay so now i'm just doing these oblong shapes to show the distortion of the reflections of the bokeh lights in the background against the glass on the very bottom here and so as i'm placing these in Again, just matching the colors in random ways and just putting them however. And each time I go into a new color, I'm going to get a little bit smaller as I go towards the bottom of the glass and sort of give this funnel look. So I'm kind of arranging these in sort of a V formation instead of just straight down. And then this way it shows the curvature of the glass and it just really brings more of a reflection and a lot more realism to it this way. Okay, now I'm going to take some cat orange and a little bit of burnt umber to that to dull that a bit. A little bit of titanium white. So very little paint on the brush and I'm going to really set this reflection off. Watch this. I'm just going to take and make this glazing little shape like this. And look at how that just really sets that reflection off. It adds a new depth to it like that. Super awesome, these little things. When you just have them all come together and play together like this. And it really is just all about the value of the color and however, however much paint that you load on the brush and how transparent or heavy or light it is. So all of those things working together is all it is. And this is what acrylic paints can do. <laughs> it just really takes off. Okay, so I'm taking that light value, a little bit of Payne's gray, that's blue. That's a little bit of burnt umber into it, mostly titanium white. And just putting another reflection down the glass like so. Okay, now taking some more of that phthalo green and blue and some titanium white for that turquoise color. And I'm going to add another bokeh light right here. Okay, with a clean brush now, I'm going to take some violet, a little bit of permanent black in there just to dull it, and some titanium white. Very, very light muted uh, lavender color there and just a teeny bit of paint on the brush. And again, I'm going to set this reflection off 
even more as I take and glaze this up. Watch how this just makes it shine ever more. And the elegance just really comes out. I just love the way that these colors and all these effects start to play together. Okay, now I'm taking my number two flat brush again, and I'm gonna go now into this light yellow cream color that I had made, a little bit more titanium white to brighten that. And I'm gonna start right here and start to make these reflections on this glass now, and it'll pretty much be the similar colors as the first one, just some different shapes and maybe some varying tones, but pretty much similar stuff. So as you can see on this side, a little bit more yellow and white with that brown, yellow and white, as opposed to the left side there, the, the right is a little bit brighter in that regard and more vibrant. Okay, so just gonna, like I said, continue along and play similar values as the glass on the left and just continue to fill in stuff again with anything I don't like, I can just take permanent black and it's all good. And right here, as you can see, I've got more yellow and orange involved because this side has the firework on the right there that's kind of reflecting that color off of the glass. And also this just really sets it off that much more this way.
Okay, so now I'm going to go into some cat orange, a little bit of burnt umber into that to dull it down. Okay, and some titanium white to that. And just a teeny bit of paint on the brush. Again, this is my number two flat brush here. And I'm just going to take the width of it. It just streaks something of a reflective shine like so. Okay, and if you get too heavy on the color like I'm thinking I did there, you can take a little bit of permanent black and again, just a teeny bit of paint on the brush. And I'm just going to sort of glaze that over and just sort of settle that last reflection there. And see, just like this, it creates more of a natural look and it looks like a shine that's happening off of the glass instead of something that's on the glass, if that makes sense. And it gives it that transparent look by adding some black into it like that.
Okay, with my natural round bristle brush again and some of this thalo green with some yellow in it, I'm just gonna take just a teeny tiny paint, uh, teeny tiny amount of paint and I'm gonna glaze over this area of the glass here again that adds some more shine and transparency and reflection to it. Okay, and with red, again, as you know, I'm gonna have to go over and apply another coat to make those really pop out. Now I have a larger flat natural bristle brush and lots of water in that light orangey color and I'm going to flick it and make these little drink little bubbles here and of course anything I don't like I can take black and cover and knock it even back and of course you can just take like a round nylon tip brush or your script liner just use the very tip and just dab in little bubble things here and there and anything you want to do okay so with that light orange color again and my number two flat brush i'm going to take and do the edge of the glass down here on the stem just like this So with my script liner brush, lots of water and titanium white, I'm going to sign this piece and I want to thank everybody so much for tuning in. If you found this lesson helpful, enjoyable and inspirational and all of that, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I know it's been a little bit, but I thought I could squeeze in a new year's resolution. Um, new year's resolution. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> new year's, a new year's Eve celebration piece. And I hope that you guys really dig this and were able to follow along. Let me hear your questions and comments down below. And until next time, Happy New Year, everybody, and happy painting.